Hi everyone, and welcome back to Stephanie Reacts to Once Upon a Time. Well, this is Once Upon a Time, Season 4, Episode 4, The Apprentice. Hmm. <clears throat> I don't think I've got any predictions. I made some last week, I think. I still don't, I can't remember what the predictions were, but... Who's that ice queen? Like I say, I recognise her face, but I don't know who she is. Is she, a, is she somebody from a TV programme I've seen? Is she somebody maybe from a movie that I've seen? I don't know. It's actually annoying me who she is. We don't even have a name for her. All we've got is ice queen. Or the ice queen, whatever it is. But we've not got a name for her. So I can't even, I could check it out if I wanted to, but just put on the ice cream once upon a time. But if I do that, I may get spoiled, spoilers for myself. And I don't want spoilers, I don't. So, yeah, ouch. Oh, I hope they tell me her, like, her name. I can maybe look up the actress's name. No. Even if it says up the actress's name. Ah, maybe in the credits they'll tell me the actress's name. Because hey, maybe if I do look up the Snow Queen and then find up the actress's name. But in that wee bit of biograph, it'll be maybe spoilers. So maybe if I get her name for the credits, then I can maybe see how she has and see how I know her. It's actually driving me crazy. Three weeks now. But I think I've seen her, maybe it two weeks? Three weeks? Aye, three weeks. This will be a third week. This will be, and um, don't know who she is yet. I don't. It's like me nuts. So let's jump into this and see if we get any more on about her or if Regina and Henry will do the opposite mongus. Starting now. Previously on Once Upon a Time. My parents. Is that Ariel? No, that's not Ariel, that's that. There's someone who can help them with that kind of thing. There is one man. A very uh, rumple. wizard. I want to find who wrote this book <clears throat> and ask them to write me a happy ending. It'll be our own secret mission. I've hunted you uh, a long time, man. Crocodile. I know that that diamond you gave, Bell, was a fake. Captain Mark at least you let me plan the evening. I don't want to plan a date. You know how to chase a monster. I know how to plan an evening out. I don't pillage and plunder on the first date, just so you know. I haven't been out with me yet. Ooh, kinky. Maybe. But that guy, the apprentice, says no dark ones ever been able to do that, so. I miss this puddle, all right? The ice cream. Is that her taking her wear now? Maybe with the, with the water in her boots? Making yourself at home, are we? I mean, to make another deal. Not interesting. <laughs> oh, I really need to get my own place. Cut your mother some slack. It's not like we got to send you to the ball. You sure you guys don't want help? Maybe I can get hooked to stay in for me. My sister put her wedding on hold because of me. I don't want anyone else to stop living their lives on my account. <laughs> Here we go. Okay. With both hands. You look stunning, Swan. You look the, the same. Now that I'm settling into this world, I finally thought it was time to dress the part. Wow, you really went all out. Uh, Emma? This is that? Right. The Dark One kindly restored what he wants to it from me. It seems he hasn't been changed his ways. So, what do I call you now, Captain Ham? Killian will do. Okay, Killian. We should get out of here before David decides to give you mm. a deck of dad's speech. Well, you can spare yourself the trouble, mate. I assure you, your daughter couldn't be in better hands. That's exactly what worries me, especially now that you have two of them. I can take care of myself. Mm. Sure you don't want me to drive? Bye. Just hope. Darling, doesn't affect him. Started dating Anna. 
It's the only time in my entire life that I've ever made someone sweat. <laughs> Speaking of which, let's see if we can figure out what happened to your sister. I'm not sure it's it, that one. Open. Are you here? The door was open. End of the hall. First door on your right. Come on in, dearie. What's that proof? Look, Swan. I didn't bring you here to worry about the snow queen. I thought you'd show you the time. Just you're hurting me. Don't be his other hand. Squeeze me. Ooh. The knife. Oh, what's the sheriff doing here? Oh, Bill Scarlet. Sorry. Thank you. Oh my god, you're alright, mate. There you really? Go. Take your glass there, mate. Yeah. Apologize to the lady, mate. Killian, look, it's okay. You. You're the thief that took off from the ice cream shop. I'm going up. Nope. Gonna do it. We are on a date, and I'm not gonna let some petty furry tail be through it. Mm, I see. A ice wall around the town. You can get away. I'll find him. He's not gonna ruin this night. Killian. Hey, look. It's okay. It was just a glass of wine. So I love her. I uh, don't know what got into me. Yep, your other hand got into you. Doesn't it belong to your body anymore? Belongs to the guy who you used to be. I have newt, dragon scale, adder spork, lizard's maw. Careful, Henry. Unless you want to spend your teenage years as a toad. So which one of these is going to unfreeze Marion? None. None of them. I don't think I have anything powerful enough to counteract the Snow Queen's magic. Is it because Robin Hood still loves you? <clears throat> who told you that? No one. But I know how this stuff works. I know that true love's kiss didn't work on Marion because he still loves you. Aye. But isn't that a good thing? Shouldn't you be happy? In this case, Henry. She is happy, but... I'm afraid this may be something you're just too young to understand. Aww. Well? Not bad. He actually managed to make me forget that storybook was under siege from an evil snowman. I was mm -hmm. worried that I'd run in with that thief my across the port. I apologize for overreacting. Okay. Yeah. It's okay. You wanna come in and have coffee with my parents and newborn and a human ice maker? <laughs> no. I really need my own place. I suppose we just have to wait till next time. Next time, I don't remember asking. It's because it's my turn. Are you glad with me again? Yeah. Meet me at the docks tomorrow morning, Captain. We have work to do. Ooh. Hope we get to see it. I'm pleasing it now. Ah, I'm bleeding. Hey, this is the first time I've seen her in this episode, so... Why the hell are you following me? Hey! Stop! You go and push yes, baby! Emma, I need you to come down to the library. We have a situation. Low Scarlet? Aye. Oh. It's got a book for somehow. Whatever the book is. My name is Book of Wonderland. Ha! Oh. Book of 
Good morning, Captain. Well, you may have the hat, but we both know. You can't use you it. You never collect enough power to do what you want. Oh, I will. But alas, you won't be there to see it. Oh, wow. Ooh. Is this how he gets his hand back now? Where the hell did he go? Into the heart. Exactly what I needed. Or in the past or something? Don't be the end, don't be the end, good. Come on. Just one. No. Spend <laughs> not pouting. You love carrots. What is wrong with you? Think maybe he missed me? Mm. Oh dear. Actually isn't complete. I say it is. You can no longer control me, mate. I just saw you use the real dagger, so I know you're lying to Bell. You've got nothing on me. Maybe. Put the behind back on him. Security tape. From the house we just left. How do you think Miss Swan is going to react when she finds out what you did to that kindly old man? I know how that device works, and if I'm on there... So are you. Which turned out pretty good, despite the rude interruption. What the hell happened to your hand? Because the dot was magic, it wasn't all I'd have to be. Emma, there's something I need to talk to you about. Well, make it fast. I want to go after the Snow Queen before the trail gets cold. The name the Snow Queen's been using in Storybrook, Sarah Fisher. That name doesn't appear anywhere in the census. Mm. What does that mean? You're right. She didn't come here by any curse. Right. What the hell does she want with me? Is she another one who came through like a in the real world, maybe? Look, I know I might not understand everything that's going on with you and Robin Hood, but there is one thing I understand better than anyone else. Miss Love. Operation Mongoose. All right. The story book? We're going to find the author. Make him change it. I think I figured out who has all the answers we're looking for. Who? Is that one? My grandpa. David? My other grandpa. Mr. Gold. Everyone knows Rumpelstiltskin doesn't get a happy ending, but look at him now. He just married Belle. He must have figured out how to change his story. Which means he might know who wrote the book. And I'm the last person he'd ever share that with. That's where I'm going to find out for you. How? By going into cover. Me. A job? You know, after school on the weekends. Now that my father's gone, I realize that you're the closest thing I've got to him. But if you don't want me around. No, well. Alright. Yeah. A few days a week. But, uh. Stay out of the back room and don't touch anything without asking. You can be my apprentice. What does an apprentice do? Hmm. Many, many things. First, Never ask. You can start by sweeping the floor. Maybe I'll steal Henry's power? Maybe he's got any? Do 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 Mickey Mouse with a red robe on, his blue heart like that had. Hmm, so when we seen Mr. Gold sending the apprentice into the heart, then you seen like something twinkle at the start. Could that be like a star? Maybe he sent the apprentice through time? Or sent him into space, maybe? Hmm, and that's the start of this episode. We saw the dark one going after the box. I thought it was Rumple Stockskin. Ah, uh, uh, it was Zozo. Uh, then, 
Is that that one? Is that Rob Bostopsky? Because with the hair and the red robe he wears, the business would end up being the apprentice. But then the, the apprentice guy says, You come out now, Dark One. And then, there's Rumpel there. And I was wrong again, it wasn't a Rumpel. It was Zozo. Because ah! <laughs> you've seen every Dark One before you try to open this box and none has. That's what made me think it was Rumpel still. Because maybe Zozo tried to open it, then it worked for him. So maybe you're trying to know what for you. So Rumpel actually figured out how to open it. It was hard about it. Used to Anastia. Because she was going to kill Rumpel. But then couldn't they? So she pulled away from darkness. And her tear on his dagger made the way for him to open. But the power he needs is the Emma's power he's planning to steal. Or maybe the Snow Queen's or maybe Elsa's power. Or maybe Regina. I think there's only the four or f uh, the four uh, powers within this land. Except for Rumpel, he'll be the fifth. But he wants power, so could be the Snow Queen, Emma. Elsa, Regina. Try to think of the Elsa who may have magic in this land, in Storybrook. Bo Peep, but she do got the magic. It's her staff. It's got the magic in the thing. She just brands them. So maybe try, maybe steal one of their magics, because Emma's the most powerful one. Then you can free yourself from the dagger. I mean, that probably make the cast because maybe you can escape through the book from that material, of course. But the ice barrier stops him. But maybe as soon as he says he's free from the dagger, we'll keep Bella and you see I'm free! How can I be free from the dagger? What's my hand? Or oh, our love together has freed us from this dagger. Something like that maybe I'll happen with them. And how he controlled Hook. I think he actually put a spell with the hand. You seen him doing that? Or the hand before he put it back on him. So he could have done something to the hand. So when he put it, placed it on him, he could have just that. And hand back easy, steady, with the hand over it. So that he could have done that to control Hook. Make his hand be evil. And then the time he tried. He punched Will Scarlet in the nose, or the, no, the eye, and maybe he tried to grope Emma or something, because he seen him do that. He's open, and Emma felt something take us. When she went behind the door, she was like, confused to be bit. And he told, and Hook told Rumpel to take the hand back, the cursed hand. You see, it wasn't cursed. That was just him having his freedom from being a, from being a puppy dog to being a pirate again. So I can say maybe Rumpel did something to the hand. And as he did with Selena, he killed her, then he raised himself from the video. That's what we did here with Hook. He raised himself from the video, made it look like Hook killed the old man. So Hook has to work for gold until maybe he can get rid of the video. I'm guessing Gold may have copies. You see me doing. That's me trying to hold a yawn in. Because I'm bloody freezing. When I get freezing, I start to yawn. I don't know why I start to yawn, but I do. Hibernation. <laughs> I'm always warm, so when I get cold, I fall asleep. <laughs> but anyway, I had that. I don't know why Will scared it, Emma. For yeah, I stole money at the cash register, I. But we were letting it go because they, they were on track of the ice cream. Because <sighs> I'm sorry for the journey, I'm just I'm freezing. I mean, I've got my house coat next to me. I have to put that one and stop one arm. One arm. Yeah, keep this arm.
heated up as well. I won't be yawning much. Cause only this arm is cold. No, this one. It's not instanty, but it's not yet. I know it looks stupid with one on, but anything to do this. So like I said, when soon as he sees Emma in the bar, the, no, the restaurant. Oh shit! And he saw Emma was falling, falling him. Nap. But then he's. But he confuses me. Will stole the book of Alice in Wonderland, and he held the, he held the page to the Red Queen. I've I've told. What's the point of time Wonderland? It was after 3.11, it was. But now seeing this makes me makes me think it's after this, maybe 4.11. It makes me feel, because he's trying to get back to Wonderland to see Anna, his Anna, the Red Queen. And he has to maybe go help get Alice, the White Rabbit and that. So, yeah, and who was, have you seen Snow Queen talking to Emma a wee bit? Like, leading her somewhere, and she just vanished. Is that about, also? Because she put Emma's car in the water, then she made like the road slippery, Emma and crashed. And David says she's knowing any of the texts, books, from the other courses they've had. So, she doesn't go by that name. I think it was his Ellen, maybe. Or that, whatever it is. I'll check what name she went by. Or, oh, you thought she went by. Ah, here, see, I'm a bit, wait. Sarah Fisher. That's the name. Sarah Fisher. She went by. And there were no record of Sarah Fisher in the books. So she never came over in the course. Does that mean she's like Emma and Pinocchio? Somehow she escaped the course and was living in the real world. If that is, then how many others are in the real world from uh, Enchanted Forest or Snowhaven, I think it was called, wherever parts with the course hit. And Rubble did say, yeah, last week, Emma better not. Recognise for who you are. So maybe somebody from Emma's past, if she lives in the real world. I don't know. This confuses me who she is now. It's more intriguing. I might not know what may Ooh. Next episode is. Breaking the Glass. And the thumbnail is Marine. The thumbnail is. So that means Marine's going to be shattered. She's going to be smashed. Or it's going to be the big wall. The yeah, ice. Maybe that's going to be smashed. <coughs> but it's going to be Marine's a thumbnail. That could be just mean she's in the episode Frozen. Frozen. <laughs> but she could be like just in a bucket of ice. Just uh, shows you her. This has to be done a bit hard. But breaking the glass. Maybe a mirror. To be to be smashed, breaking the glass, like Alice in Wonderland thing, through the looking glass, break the glass. And that's probably why Will Scarlet is able to summon the White Rabbit, maybe? No. It was the White Rabbit that came to Will, it was. So, mmm, I don't know. Well, everyone, that'll be next week, breaking the glass. I think there are two parts to this, I think. Nope. Only one. I thought there were two parts. Well, they loaded the episode, I thought I seen Breaking the Glass 1, Breaking the Glass 2. But, 
So it's pretty glass, I'm guessing. So until then, everyone, have a good day, good night, good week, good weekend. Stay safe out there, everyone. Look after yourselves. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.